This is the new incubator that we are launching at this event. Uh, we're really proud of this device. We put a lot of technology into it, and we believe that our motto of discovery by precision is really shown in this device. Not many people realize Panasonic has more technology than any entity on Earth. We have over 183,000 active patents at any time, and what we've done is taken some of those core patents and we've uh, put that into this device. When we're looking at the environment, there are two main factors. One is heat, so maintaining a very consistent heat. This, of course, Panasonic being a consumer electronics company has put a lot of technology in there by using a heat jacket. So we have an air heat jacket around there, which has a very stable you know, temperature environment inside the incubator. Second one is carbon dioxide recovery. What we have is a, probably the quickest recovery time of any incubator on the market. Of course, when you're a researcher, you're opening and closing the incubators. You're taking in and putting in cells, taking out cells. Because every time you do that, you are changing the environment inside that incubator. So what Panasonic has done is we've incorporated what we call an IR2 sensor. What we're doing is using infrared waves. We're trying to determine the level of uh, carbon dioxide in there, which will of course let us know the acidity of the air in there. The another feature we have on this incubator, which we are really proud of, is this new LCD panel. This LCD panel can be operated with rubber gloves. It has all your data there, so the researcher can see from across the room how their cells are doing. We realized that for researchers, normally you'd want to take this data locally and use a USB port. And that's why we put that USB port on this incubator. Another technology that we have is what we call proactive contamination control using what we call safe cell UV. And what this is, is there's a UV lamp in the back of the incubator. So when you have air circulating in this incubator, it is continuously passing this UV bulb and it's purified. And then after that, it goes down. It's aimed the whole time at the water tank at the bottom. You have a shield in front of it, so it does not affect your cells at all. And it's maintaining a very consistent environment to keep contaminants out of your research. So another technology we have, we call IncuSafe. IncuSafe is what you see here. It looks very shiny. It's a copper alloy. Copper is one of the pure decontaminants out there, but of course with copper it's usually very dark. You're not able to see if there's any impurities or any problems or contamination in your incubator. But what we've done is made it very shiny. So for the researcher, he can see my incubator is still shiny. It's a copper alloy. It's one of the best preventive contaminant controls out there. Finally, what we have is we call hydrogen peroxide decontamination. You'd basically put the hydrogen peroxide in there, run it through your system, the hydrogen peroxide has become a gas. We turn on the UV light automatically. It breaks down that gas and it makes it into water and oxygen, providing you the perfect environment to do very good cell research. The final thing that we have done, which we are really proud of, is we've reduced the number of components by 80%. This is truly amazing, we believe. What you're doing is you're taking out three shelves, a water pan, and the back cover, which is covering the UV light. Those five parts you take out, turn on the H2O2 and you decontaminate. We feel that discovery by precision, we knew it was very important for researchers to have more time to discover things. We don't want them to spend time cleaning their incubators and doing things. That's stuff that you should let Panasonic handle for you by providing you these types of tools. So thank you for looking. We're really proud of this device. We hope you'll come take a closer look at it. And this has been our Cell IQ incubator series. Thank you. Panasonic.